Okay, this lesson is for day nine. Now that we know how to solve systems algebraically, and now that we can use a calculator to enter and store matrices, now we're going to show you a method of solving systems using your calculator with matrices. It actually becomes quite easy to solve a three variable system when you can plug in the system into your calculator. Okay, so this first example I'm only using a uh, two variable system, but what you're going to do is define three different matrices. Okay, you have a coefficient matrix, a variable matrix, and a constant matrix. Your coefficient matrix is going to be found by using the coefficients in front of your variables. So one of my matrices is going to be negative 6, 5, 7, and 2. Now the variable matrix is just the variables that you have. In this case, since it's only x and y, we write those, and you're going to write those vertically. So it's x and y in a 2 by 1 matrix. Your constant matrix is what your variable matrix is equal to. So 18 and 26, also in a 2 by 1, is going to be written as another matrix. Now I'm going to define A in my calculator to be our coefficient matrix. So you use your coefficient ma matrix, negative 6, 5, 7, and 2, and we're going to say let A equal that. Now B is going to be 18 and 26. You do not need to define your cal in your calculator your variable matrix. Okay. So now this system here that I have written in matrices looks like this. Okay, if I let A equal this and B equal this. So let's say I wanted to isolate and get the variables here, this variable matrix by itself. So um, I'm going to talk about inverse operations in order to solve this. Okay, so inverse operations here, I have a really basic linear equation. Um, and if I wanted to isolate that x, kind of similarly to how I want to isolate over here, I am going to add 6. That would be the inverse operation of subtracting 6. So now I'm left with 2x equals 16. Well, typically what we would do here is divide by 2. But instead, because I can't divide by a uh, matrix, okay, so dividing by a matrix is not allowed. So instead, how would I also isolate this 2 here, or sorry, the x, and get that 2 out of there without actually um, using um, division? Well, I could multiply by its reciprocal 1 half. This is also an inverse operation here, okay? And then I get x equals 8, of course. Now, this is kind of what we're going to be doing here. Rather than dividing by a matrix, I'm going to multiply by its inverse. Okay, and I multiply it by its inverse on both sides. Now, when you multiply by its inverse, this side, because we know that if we multiply anything by its inverse, we end up with the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. That's our identity matrix multiplied by x, y. It's going to equal, on the right-hand side, we have b times a inverse. b times a inverse. Now, let's take a look at what the dimensions of this matrix would be. Well, B is a 2 by 1 matrix, right? This is B up here, 2 by 1. And A is a 2 by 2. Well, we can't multiply it in this order, okay? Because those in inside numbers are not right. So that actually is not what we want to write on the other side. We, all, we actually want to multiply by A inverse B, okay? A inverse B, because if we do it in this order instead, now we have a 2 by 2 multiplied by a 2 by 1. And now, of course, you can multiply these and your resulting matrix will be a 2 by 1 matrix. So, after I get um, A inverse out of there, since I'm multiplying the identity by xy, I end up with x over y, or xy, I'm sorry, is equal to A inverse times B. Okay, so let's plug that into our calculator and see what we get. Okay, so I already went ahead and I edited um, matrix A and matrix B, and I put in those, those values that we already had um, listed. So hopefully you did that as well. Now when I'm, put, when I'm trying to enter A inverse B, A, A inverse times B, I'm gonna just hit second matrix A, and then I'm going to hit the inverse key, which is actually the matrix key as well. So now I have A inverse, and I'm gonna multiply that by B. So second matrix B, and it's gonna output another matrix, 2, 6. Now, this matrix, if I interpret this, so x over y here was 2, 6. 
So the x value is 2 and the y value is 6. So the point of intersection here is 2, 6. Okay, that's how you're going to use matrices. Now I'm going to do one more problem with you and show you what I want to see as far as showing our work. So you're going to always define your matrices first. You need to do that every time. Then you're going to show how you isolate the variable matrix. So you're going to show out um, using work, you know, how you get x, y by itself. Then you're going to show your solution as a matrix, and then you're going to finally write it as an ordered pair. <clears throat> so let's begin with this example too. So in this example, I'm going to say, let's let A, which is our coefficient matrix, be 2, negative 3, 5, and 6. So I just take the coefficients in front of each one of these. Now B is equal to 16 and then 22. Okay. Now I want to show how I'm going to isolate my matrix. Well, I know that A times our coefficient matrix x over y is supposed to equal B. Okay. So let's work on getting the variable matrix alone. So this is the work that I want to see. So after you show your beginning equation, you're going to isolate your variable matrix. So we're going to multiply by the inverse of A on both sides. But we want to make sure that we write that out in front. Remember, because B times A inverse is not a valid multiplication. So now we have our identity matrix on the left, 1, 0, 0, 1 times our variable matrix equal to A inverse times matrix B. So our variable matrix is equal to A inverse times B. So then you're going to plot, you know, obviously plug that into your calculator. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so here's my matrix A, um, which is a 2 by 2, the coefficient matrix, and I've already listed the coefficients here. Now I'm going to do second matrix and do um, edit matrix B now. And instead of 18 and 26, now I should see 16 and 22. Okay, so um, rather than um, entering A inverse B all over again, let's do that shortcut that I showed you guys before. If you hit second entry, it'll bring up the last thing you just entered. So I have A inverse B here. Because I changed A and B, now I'll get a different value than I did before because I've changed those matrix matrices. So my solution here is 6 over negative 1.33333. Now I don't want you guys writing this decimal here. We should have a fraction answer for this. So we can actually change this um, into a fraction by hitting math and then convert it to a fraction by hitting enter twice. So there's my um, solution here. x over y. And actually what I would want you to, um, to show is your solution in a coefficient or in a matrix first and then you're going to interpret that point as 6 negative 4 thirds okay so this is all of the work that you need to show in order to get full credit on a problem when you're using matrices so you start with defining your matrices you show how you isolate these three steps here to isolate your your uh, variable matrix show what your variable matrix is equal to and then finally write your your answer as a point of intersection. All right, that is the end of the lesson. Hopefully um, you guys like this new method for solving um, using matrices.